I don't subscribe to whoredom, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I was like true. clutching my pearls. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Back to back. <laughs> disgusting. I'm just like, <laughs> no, it is disgusting though. Um, I, you know, I don't know what men feel. I don't know if they know if it's cheating or not because I'm not one of them. And I've not tried it myself. So it would be hard for me to speak on that. Um, but as far as yeast infections are concerned, I think somebody brought that up. Just understand that that also happens if a man has sex with multiple women and he brings it back to so it can happen both ways. So maybe she's not the cheat and he is and he had sex with somebody else and then he came to her. That too can cause um, an issue. So how do you do this, Shanet? Like Shan, how? How do you do this? How we can how we can be clearly talking about a woman trying to get away with cheating and somehow, I some way. So you skip that shit, flipped so, so it, sweetie. dipped it, and said, so, so let's first, talk about the man cheat. Listen, first of all, Sweeney, I learned from you because you're the king of taking somebody's word and then starting another conversation with it. So let's not do that. <laughs> you um, ain't never seen me do I, I, that. I'm just following you. I, I'm just an apprentice in your world, okay? I, I'm just... You ain't never seen me do that shit. So, <laughs> no. I, that's nasty. I don't know what she got going on there. Ladies, keep your legs closed. Keep your legs. I I I'm not, I don't know. These these women, you got yeah. I, I think that people think that all women are the same. I, we're not. So I can't. I can't, there's no way I can understand what she's saying because I don't move like she moves. I never have been a person who moves like she moves. If she says that's what happens, okay. I, I don't know. So it's yeah. some like real real. If, no. Even <laughs> if you wasn't the one, you got a home girl or two. I don't hang everybody I has exactly a, everybody has a ratchet whole I know exactly what you're about to say. Absolutely not. Hey, say it, say it for me, Casey. And say, if she did, she keeps it to herself. <laughs> say it for me, Casey. Guess what I was about to say, and I'd agree or disagree. They got some real wild freaks out here right under your nose that you don't you think you don't know them, but you know them. That's and they should be fired, knowing that they oh, go. So they could be they they friend, have a bomb and they they're not I shy know. with they the pass this shit out like <laughs> communion crackers and shit. I have not and that should still be fired no matter when you fight. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I have a question because um, I have a best friend. Um, and he's a guy. And we had this conversation a few weeks ago. We talk a few times a year. But we were talking and he went through a divorce and he has this new girl he's dating for the last six months. But the he, t he was like, I... I know she messing with somebody else because the sex is different. She's moving different all of a sudden. And I was like, well, why couldn't she have just came up with something different? Y'all have been messing around for six, seven months. Like maybe she want to do something different. But he said a man know when a girl is doing something different in sex that she got it from another man or she was doing it with another man. So here, here's why that may or may not like, so I can see that. So I believe in like like domination. So it's a role you're gonna play where you get instructed to do certain things, right? And through that role, I will be instructing you so that it would have to come from me because I'm telling you what to do. So maybe if if she came back knowing how to do the double twist and she don't watch porn, then yeah, that might be an issue. You know what the double twist is, right, Chanel? Yeah, Come I know Jill Scott, Jill Scott, she I know Jill Scott did that. Okay, so okay. I, know I, I call it I call it the pepper cracker. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all ever but seen somebody because everybody talking about it, like she could really much, she can pretty much come home and say, "This is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do this today." I've done that before, but I never was accused that I got it from. Like it wasn't like he asked me, like, "Where'd you get that from?" If she ain't like, got no cosmopolitan magazines in the house or nothing like that, then you know damn well she can just I don't watch porn. I'm being honest with you. I, I haven't watched porn well, since I was probably like 10, 15 years ago one time. But like, I don't watch porn. Like, I didn't even know X had porn until about a month ago. I tried to go on there and right before I went on, clicked on the link, it was like, this is unusual activity because I guess I've never been on it before on my own phone. But now I see it all the time. And I'd be like, oh, that's a lot of stuff that can come across social media that you don't have to have, you know, porn at home and stuff, you know. Chanel, I also think it's a possibility that it could have taken her that long to get comfortable with him to show him some certain things in the bedroom as well, right? Because six months is not that long. Um, depending on the woman, she they may not have been having sex the whole six months. So 
if she's and, getting more and more comfortable, they're getting more emotionally connected. She may and if you came off judgmental, forget about that. Yeah, 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 right? And so she doesn't want to be judged, dating him in the beginning. And then now that these barriers are in the walls kind of coming down, she may be more free in the bedroom to like reveal certain <laughs> things about herself. Um, so I think that's a factor too. I, I would ask this too. If I was to ask your homeboy, I would say, did you ask for this shit before? And it just never came to fruition. Like you was like, hey man, I would love to try some shit like that one day. And she was like, oh, well, you know, maybe I don't know. And then, you know, six months go by and finally that shit came back up. She was like, she, she hit you with that. She hit him with that hot tool. He was like, wait a minute. Where did this <laughs> shit come from? Nigga forgot he asked for it. <laughs> well, he said the rhythm changed. And I was like, what? And he was like, it's the thing with men. Like, it's a rhythm that you have with a woman when you're having sex. And he said the rhythm was off. It was different. So it wasn't so much that she just popped up and did something. Because I kept saying, did she just pop up and do something different? And he said it was just the rhythm was different. I think he paranoid. I was like, I ain't never heard of that in my life. So yeah, he might be paranoid. I don't think he trusts her yet. <laughs> Either yeah, either that, yeah. either that, or he's short stroking, and she gave him that long stroke rhythm. Because <laughs> she was with somebody earlier today that and was kept, And then <laughs> kept slipping out. It was like, wait a minute, something about? different. <laughs> man, y'all crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> See where y'all minds be going, man. So do you do men prefer for a woman to talk about doing something different and don't just pop it up on them while you having sex? Like, do you guys prefer women? Like, do you guys want to head up so that you kind of know? Then if a woman women. actually interested in extra things spicy and it's me, give a damn how to do it. Do it this way you feel comfortable. I thought that was the purpose of porn. Like you go put the video on, y'all watch it together, and then you talk about if like if you got something you want to try and you don't know how to bring it up, then just bring the porn on and yeah, discuss it then. That's that's, that's low-key what I thought it was for instructional purposes. That's for entertainment, bro. I mean, you can be and it's it can also be informative, we'll say that. All right. When you're watching it by yourself, right? That's like, when you just be at the house watching that shit, like, yeah, I'm entertained. <laughs> but with somebody there, you're like, hey, you need to try this. <laughs> you, you, you need to try this. I ain't gonna lie to you. I do enjoy the Skinner Max movies. Old school like, ones? What is like that? the ones, like, like the uh, ones where they, like, take spoofs. Like, they still, they still, like, they're, they're soft pornos. But like they're spoofs of movies and shit, like Lord of the Rings. Like the one, one of my favorite ones was Lord of the G Strings. That shit was funny <laughs> as hell. <laughs> hey, look it up. Hey, the shit was comedy, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> don't don't be hating now. Don't be hating. But no, seriously though, Lord of the G Strings was the shit. It was like a real. It was like a. Uh, it was just a spoof comedy porno movie of the. Did Lord they have the a midget in there? Like Schmeagle? No. Like no. They, had, they had this real bad, like half black and Asian chick in there, though. Come, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Blazing. No, she, 